Hello, hello, Pizza Packs here, and we're back with Core 2021 pre release kit number four. Let's see what we get and what we can build. All right. We have Shacklegeist. Very nice. That one we might act we might actually play with this. Now Shacklegeist does lend well to both the blue white flyers build and the um spells matter. Uh, blue red decks. So, ooh, we got a different die this time. We got the black one. The M21 black and gray speckled die. Very nice. Add that to our collection. I think that's the only one we got that wasn't green. And then we've got our little timeline with building a pre release quick guide on the back. Right. Got our arena code fighter and six draft packs. Well, just plain booster packs. This was before they s split between set and booster packs or set and draft packs. All right, pack number one. Let's see what we get. All right, we have a soldier token, mountain, crypt lurker, foil. Let's see, four mana, three, four. When it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature or discard a creature card. If you do, draw a card. Hmm, it's not terrible. We have brash taunter. Now, this card is, in fact, terrible. It's basically a stuffy doll. Uh, that you can use to fight things. However, in limited, this card was ridiculous. So, um, we may end up playing the blue-red deck. Light of Promise. Very nice. Turns any creature into an Ajani's Pride Mate. Epitaph Golem. Let's you get stuff back from your graveyard into your deck. Rain of Revelation. Very nice. Anointed Chorister. 1-1 one, one lifelink for one. That can pump later in the game. Roaming Ghost Light. Very nice. That's definitely what we want for the blue spirits. Strategy. Gnarled Sage. Basri's Acolyte. Nice. Way of spreading around counters. Or Cullis Vine, Liliana's Steward in the alternate frame. Very nice. Turn to Slag. Doesn't seem like super great um, overall, but it actually a very good removal. Opt. Nice. Then to the Spell Slinger strategy, Revitalize. Also, Turn to Slag plays very nicely with Brash Taunter. Okay. All right, pack two. We have a very washed out zombie token. Interesting. A really cool looking mountain. Nice. I like that. A foil rain of revelation. Nice double foil. Then we have Nyamba or Nyambi steamed speaker. Flash, when it is the battlefield, you may return target creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do gain life equal to that creature's converted mana cost, and then you can discard a legendary to draw two cards. Probably won't utilize that second ability very much. You have Sanctum of Shattered Heights. It's a very good reusable removal spell. Uh, that also works well with the Brash Taunter. We have Talarian Kraken. This is a very nice 
uh, top end. Eliminate, great piece of removal. Gnarled Sage, number two, Turret Ogre. Okay. Teferi's Protege. Skeleton Archer. Colossal Dreadmaw. Sanguine Indulgence. It's a very good way of getting back creatures. Goblin Wizardry. Uh, this is actually really strong uh, in this sealed for this. Because it does, especially in the Spell Slinger strategy. Spined Megalodon. Good top end card. And Concordia Pegasus. So far, we're getting pushed towards the blue red Spell Slinger deck. Alright. Pack number three. Cat token, really cool looking island. Like that. Baron, Telerian Tular Archmage, very nice. Nice bounce, and uh, there's a little bit of draw. Fungal Rebirth. Liliana's Devotee. Really nice zombie enabler. Base Fetters. Fantastic piece of removal, originally printed in Ravnica. Mistral Singer, pushing us further towards the Spell Slinger deck. Dub. Sabertooth Mauler. Nice. Alchemist Gift. Portcullis Vine, number two. Deathbloom Thalid. Hobble Fiend. Which works really well with those death bloom phthalates. Cancel. Secure the scene, one of the best pieces of removal in the set. Destructive tampering. Alright. Back four. All right, we have a treasure token. Scoured Barons. Baneslayer Angel. Very nice. All right, we might be going the blue-white plan instead. Jeskai Elder. Very nice. Indulging Patrician. Even Gaggle Master. Yeah, we're probably going the uh, blue-white flyers route. This, that pack really just shifted us entirely. Return to Nature, Chandra's Mutt, a second Mistral Singer, very nice. Blood Glutton, Garrick's Gorehorn, Fetid Imp, Goblin Wizardry number two. Ooh. Spined Megalodon, Concordia Pegasus, and Bone Pit Brute. We might splash red just for those two goblin wizardries. They are really that good. Maybe the brass, brass taunter as well. Alright, pack five. They're really exciting. Sealed pool. Sapperling token, dismal backwater. Discontinuity. This is actually one of the premium cards in the set. Uh, isn't really used for seal. But, uh, just absolutely amazing outside of it. Rewind. Very nice. Indulging Patrician, number two. Leafkin Avenger. Short Sword. Cage Zombie. Spellgorger Weird. Well, we definitely have some good stuff for the uh, Spellslinger deck. Wishcoin Crab. Life Goes On. Colossal Dreadmaw number two, Sanguine Sacri or Sanguine Indulgence number two, Thrill of Possibility, Cancel number two, and Valorous Steed. This is not going to be easy to fit, to to pick because we've got some very strong red to go along with our frankly nutty blue Beast Token, Swamp, Oil Mountain. Temple of Triumph. Well, I mean, that's a sign, right? 
Bren Wingmare. Very nice. Gourmand. Soul Seer. Nice. Radiant Fountain. Second spell gorge are weird. Okay, we've we've got a we've got to run blue red. Cage zombie. Sky scanner. Rousing reed. Drowsing pteranodon. Alchemist gift. Bone pit fruit and Vidalian arcanist. Okay. Wow. All right, so we're going to. Oh yeah, we're not playing green. We just didn't get enough of the good stuff in green. And we're probably not playing black. Although we could potentially play black, black, white with what we have here. Let's see how much removal did we get in black. We got eliminate, and that's it. So we got cage zombie, which we got two cage zombie, which is kind of nice. Um, we got a Liliana's devotee. That's really it. We didn't get a whole lot of good black, so we're just gonna we're just gonna cut out black. Like there is an argument for going kind of espery with this because of our lands and some of that, but I don't particularly like that argument. Temple of Triumph, consider short sword, and yeah, the rest of this we don't really need. So let's grab our primo red stuff. Bone Pit Brute is solid, but where we want to be. Spellgorger Weird, Soul Seer, Thrill, Spellgorger, Double, Wizardry. I mean, we could consider the Magma, I guess. Hobble Fiend, very strong. Red Ogre's out. Sanctum we may consider, just because it's good for dealing with our later lands. Turn to Slag, very strong, and Brash Monter is very strong. And we're tre treating the Goblin Wizardries like they're creatures. All right, let's see what we got. In white. So off to the side. Wingmare solid. Miller seed we don't really need. I guess this is okay. Gaggle Master is fantastic. Bane Slayer is amazing. Secure the scene is solid. Consider dub. First face fetters is amazing removal. Yeah, we don't need the three of pieces. Or Pegasi, I guess. Got other stuff to do. Revitalize is okay. Just gonna pass on that. Acolyte. Forester. May consider Light of Promise. Oh, let's secure the scene. It's not a creature. All right, blue. An Arcanist. Rousing Reed. Maybe cancel, probably not. Wishbone Crab's no good. Rewind is actually really good. Discontinuity is a maybe. Let's see, Spined Megalodon is a great top end, but we're probably going Spell Slinger, so probably not. Mistral cancel, Mistral Baron is fantastic. Okay, probably not. Rain. Opt. Ghost Light is amazing. Second Rain. Jackalgeist is good. I'm going to skip the Megalodons. 
We're going to consider the Kraken. We have a mini draw engine here. We have Baron Tolarian Archmage and Niambi Steam Speaker together. That's interesting. I think we can actually skip the turn to slag. Seems a little overcosted for what we want to do. Don't think we want to run the cancels. You definitely want the secure. And we want the face fetters. Dub, I don't think we necessarily need. On creatures. Creatures. Okay. So let's get this into a mana curve and see what we want to clip. Two, two, four, three, three, six, two, five, three, three, two, three, two, one. I don't think we need the Acolyte. Double cost is really tough. Main Slayer. Dragon Master. And White Bear. Okay. Wingmare slows our stuff down too. Mobile Fiend. I don't know how I feel about Hobble Fiend, to be honest. Like, I, I know it's good, but also I'm not sure it does what we really want. So we're not making a bunch of tokens. So we got 5, 10, 16, 17. That's a lot more. Really need. Probably drop Gaggle Master. Bane Slayer is just so good. We got the good high end stuff to go with it.
16. All right, we're definitely not playing discontinuity, even though I love that card. Probably playing opt, definitely playing routes and read. Probably playing the two reigns. Probably not playing cancel. We probably are playing rewind. Like if we can justify rewind, we will play rewind. Okay. So sky scanner is in there too. Kind of feels like we're kind of like we're torn between two different things. Like we've got this tempo y stuff. But also it's like weirdish high end. There's a lot of ten there's a lot of tension here for that. I don't know that we need anointer tourister. Like if we're not playing Light of Promise, we don't we definitely don't need it. Although we do have quite a bit of life gain. Life gain there. Forester itself with the band slayer. That's all life gain. How many grid shifts do we have? We have 5, 11, 16, 17. We still have 17. That gives us space for 6 non creatures. Like Sky Scanner is good, it draws us a card and it's colorless. Fresh Taunter is fantastic. Baneslayer Angel is fantastic. Tolarian Kraken helps us force through stuff. Oh, uh, what if we drop this and this? We're at 15. So we have space for 8 non creature spells. We've got 11 that we want to play. We want to cut 3. You know, light of prog prov uh, light of promise. We don't really need. So now we just need to cut two more. Three, eight, fifteen, twenty-one, I think we cut the Chorister, or Chorister, rather. 
Now we just need to cut one more card. Do we just cut the... I think we just cut the rewind. I mean, the other option is the Bane Slayer Angel, and I really don't want to cut the Bane Slayer. Actually, that's probably correct. Cutting the Bane Slayer, having the Bane Slayer be sideboard. Or if we need to board into a more controlly kind of thing, we can do that. Just it's it's Bane Slayer Angel though. Like it's it's iconic. I think this is where we end up. Uh, probably two or three more planes. 17 lands. Two planes. In addition to the Temple of Triumph. So we've only got three white spells. They're all really strong. Because Niambi, along with... Baron is a draw engine. Yeah, it's not the greatest draw engine, but it's, it's still pretty good. Um, the double Mistral Singer, double Spellgorger Weird, double Goblin Wizardry, and double Reign of Revelation is just so good. You could even conceivably drop the white entirely and run like the Kraken and or cancels, or the hobble fiend, or turn turn to slag, something like that. But I think where we're at is actually just pretty solid. Yep. So. One, two, seven, ten, fourteen, twenty-three. Yeah, so seventeen lands. So probably two planes. Eight islands, six mountains. That's what it looks like. So at the end we have short sword, one short sword, opt, uh, Nyambi, esteemed speaker, shacklegeist, Jeskai elder, Baldalian arcanist, thrill of possibility, two spellgorger weird, Baron, Talarian archmage, two mistral singer, soul seer, rousing reed, two goblin wizardry, faith fetters, two reign of revelation, rewind, brash taunter, roaming ghost light, and secure the scene. That's what we end up with, and a Temple of Triumph. So, overall, it seems very solid. You could make it probably a little more consistent by dropping the white and adding in a little bit more of the red. Um, you didn't get a ton of removal. Like, you could even have discontinuity as your top end, top end in the blue red. But. Really depends on where you want to go with this. Like even I could even see an argument for Magmut in here. So a little bummed that Bane that Bane Slayer isn't easier to play in this, but overall it seems very good. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um and until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.